Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you how I created these bookmarks. There's few supplies I used, but please don't worry if you don't have some stuff. You don't have to use like glitter or gold. Uh, you don't have to even use the watercolor varnish, which is a great way to protect your watercolor painting. It's just a coating that you can put over. It's totally optional. You don't have to do that either. But you will definitely need scissors to cut these bookmarks and a pencil and eraser to paint some of these trees. Washi tape actually is optional because you don't need that white frame and you might not like it. I just like the white frame and I use it all the time. You will need a watercolor paper and the one I used is cold pressed, 140 pounds. Uh, you can use either 90 pounds or 140 pounds so it's easy to fold these cards, the paper, once you cut it. Uh, this size I used uh, nine, it's 9 by 12 so I ripped a page out of my pad and then I divided that page into five sections. I only used two brushes. One is softer which is the round 8 black velvet series by silver brush and then one is stiffer synthetic round 0 velvet touch series by Princeton. It's a smaller brush to work on the trees. So I am first ripping the page out of a pad this is a 9 by 12 and I am using Arches watercolor paper pad and I am going to paint on the smoother side, not the face up side because the face up side is too rough. So here I am dividing the paper into five sections. It's about three inches wide each piece. And I'm finally dividing my paper into these uh, five uh, sections, uh, which will become my bookmarks. But I will not be cutting the paper yet, not until the very end, once my paint has dried and, and once I remove the washi tape. And here's the moment where you can add washi tape. Again, it's optional. I just like the white frame around my paintings. And I think it looks pretty nice on the bookmarks too. It, they just look cleaner in a way. I only use these four colors and if you don't have white gouache, um, maybe you can use regular transparent watercolor white. But since it's snow, basically it's just the snow, you could also use acrylic paint. That would be okay since you would be applying the snow towards the end, um, very end. Once we create the, the layer with all the paint and floating in the water, so that would be totally fine as well. And now I am just drawing the trees. Uh, they're just random trees. I'm not paying that much attention to my sketch. It's a very rough sketch of the trees. And after that, I'm just going to wet the entire paper and start applying colors. So here's the rough sketch of my trees. Everything is super random, like nothing, uh, it's, it's not that pretty because I just needed lines to know where I have these trees so I can preserve white areas on the paper when I'm wetting the paper. So again, I am wetting the paper and I am avoiding to wet the trees. I want these trees to stay dry. So uh, I'm just going around basically and I'm working one or two columns at a time because the paper does dry fast and I want to make sure I apply all the colors wet on wet. <laughs> 